We're here on Juniper Hill Road with Marlon Barsami, who Thank has you. won his election for the Essex Junction School District seat on the school board for EWSD. Yeah. Um, congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. What do you think resonated with voters? Um, you know, I think talking to voters um, just personally, um, some of the issues that uh, affected voters as far as, you know, the equity policy, as far as, um, you know, things that concern kids right now, as concern parents too, as far as, you know, reading at, at uh, lower grade levels from K through three, uh, making sure that, you know, we're taking care of kids at a level with mathematics, um, you know, taking care of kids that, you know, right now if, if food insecurity is, there's a lot of these issues that are affecting a lot of our families here in the district and they're near and dear to their hearts. And so being able to talk with them about those issues and, and hearing more from them, um, to really figure out, okay, what are the things we need to start targeting going forward um, that the current budget is trying to address, but then also for the future budgets too. How do we address those things to make sure all these families are taken care of? I feel it resonates with a lot of voters, and, and I think that, you know, having conversations with tons of people in the community, it, uh, it, it worked it worked really well for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that for, for them, they felt that I was somebody that could, you know, hear the issues that they have and bring them forth to the table. Terrific. Did you talk much with students? Yeah, I did. Um, you know, luckily, let's say for my daughter graduated last year, so I got to talk to some of her friends that are just now former students and some current students, uh, talk with students in the social justice union, uh, and then there's other students that I've known through the years here uh, living in the community. And it's amazing how engaged and locked in the kids are right now, I think much more so than we were at our age. Sure. So um, they are paying attention to what we're doing. They are concerned about very specific issues. They want some very specific answers from us. They want accountability from us too. So I think that was another big issue on their end was that if not only if they could not vote, their parents could. So they were talking with their parents about, you know, candidates that resonate with the issues that they were concerned with. Uh, and, you know, the day was at the polls, a lot of students had stopped by to say hello, uh, either to well wish or, you know, say that they just voted for the first time, which is really, really cool to see. It really is. Yeah. Now you'll be one of 10 on the board. How do you make change happen, or how do you how do you put forth what you've seen and what you've brought to this election into that? Yeah, boardroom? Um, it's it's gonna be a lot of working together. There's gonna be a lot of conversations. Um, there's a lot of really good board members right now, and I think that everybody who's on the board right now is going to the best intentions. Um, they're concerned with the community, they're concerned with the students and with the staff. Um, so it's gonna have a lot of, you know deeper conversations with those board members. Uh, to bring issues that their constituents are hearing on their end to the table and continue to build along with the community uh, the vision we want for EWSD going forward. Super. Now, it's not lost on me that you're probably the first person of color elected to the board. Is that a true statement? As far as I know, yeah, I heard that's that's a true statement. Uh, I'm very proud of that. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, just the continuing uh, you know, growth and diversity that we've seen here in our, in our area. Um, I said uh, to, to Juan before, like we knew one way or another we we're going to make history mm -hmm. uh, together. We both ran, you know, and I, he ran an absolutely great race, so I give my hats off to him. Um, and that either way, win or lose, one of us was going to be bringing some, you know, bringing history to the board. And so I'm glad we did. Um, but that's just one small part of it. Now we continue to do the, to do the hard work going forward. So Now, this equity policy is part of the policy governance that's going on. Yep. Is there more to be done or do you feel like that's something that just has to be now enacted? And I think it needs to be revisited. implemented. I think it needs to be continued talked about with the community. I think there still needs to be outreach with the community to really mm -hmm. explain to them what it means that it goes beyond race. Um, you know, it goes into IEPs, it goes into food insecurities, it goes into a LGBTQIA community. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different pieces that go into it, and I think that it's a it's a living document like most of the policies are. And with that being a living document, that means the community needs to come forward and learn more about it. We need to come to the community and bring it to mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be a continuing evolution going forward. So this was step one was them doing it last year. Now we have to continue to refine it and work with the community and make sure it's being implemented the right way. And then mm -hmm. if it's not, we need to you know adjust course and, and make sure we're doing it in the best interest of every student that's in our district. Now, of course, that gets reduced to things like, well, there's a Black Lives Matter flag <laughs> flying or, yes. or or something that's visual, yes. that that's visceral, that you know gets people excited one way or the other. Um, what is your feeling about that at this point? How do we go forward? Do we use that flag? Do we use other flags to emphasize, like you said, it's not just race? I, well, look at this way. It's, it's, the flag is, is it's more than a flag. It's a message. Right. It's, it's, it's a message of solidarity that students chose um, to represent and support other students of color in, the mm. in, in their school. Uh, this, was, this was their movement. And I, for one, 
support what they're doing. I think that for those that their concern is the flag, I think that there, there are other things we can talk about beyond the flag um, that are equally as if not more important to you know the kids in the community. Our kids, are their needs being met? You know, are we, we, you know, we're looking at the scores right now for kids uh, K through three as far as their reading goes because we know that when they get to fourth grade, if they're not a reading level, um, you know, there's a four times likely chance that they're not going to graduate. And mm. it definitely affects students of color. It affects students that are uh, that you know suffer from food insecurity. Those are the kind of things that when we talk about as a community as a whole of how we're looking to take care of kids, how we're looking to come together. Those are the moments we do it. Flag and the message is important. I believe black lives matter i mean i'm a, a black man in this community here um and i i would love for folks to come forward to talk at at uh, school board meetings to ask questions you know with respectful conversations but again realize that the flag is just one small piece of it mm. that there's so much more that goes into it every day in these kids lives that they are concerned about and if people show as much passion as they as they do for and against the flag as they do with all these other aspects that affect kids today that's when we make real positive change in this community super now when do you start is it may uh may 3rd i believe is the first meeting um we are getting stuff for policy coverage right now that we're looking at so um i believe yeah may 3rd tuesday night uh, will be our first meeting that we have because there's no meeting next week that was canceled um so because they're too close together so. do you have an email address now at the school that people can use to contact you or no, will it not be after still, that? still doing the paperwork right now so hopefully okay. later on this week we'll have that done um except for with it being break right now hopefully things should move kind of smoothly because there's no other school activities going on at the moment but i hope that myself and, and laura uh, robert already has one mm -hmm. uh, but that will be up and running and be fully part of the board here hopefully in a few days so terrific well welcome and thank you so very much. exciting time yeah wish you well in your three years thank you very much i appreciate it Thanks for your time. Absolutely. Take care.